G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. And as we know, ChatGPT and AI in general is everywhere. And now it is coming to Power Automate. So with a new co-pilot trigger inside of Power Automate and a plugin for ChatGPT for Power Automate, then we are going to be able to use ChatGPT to list your flows, to create flows, and also to execute those flows directly from the user interface of ChatGPT. And that's what we are going to take a look at today in this video. The first thing we're gonna do is set things up then we're going to have a look at how we can create our flows, list our flows, and ultimately execute those flows directly from ChatGPT. So let's dive in and have a look. So I am in, first of all, in Power Automate. I'm in the UI here. Now, the first thing we're gonna do though is we're gonna have a look at ChatGPT and enabling the plugin. So I've got a tab open here, and now what we can see is I've got my chat user interface here. So I'm flicked over to the chat G P G chat GPT4 uh, tab here, and I've got this drop down where, but it says no plugins enabled. So the first thing we need to do is visit the plugin store and have a look and install the Power Automate plugin. So we'll jump across to the Power Automate store, and, uh, sorry, the, the uh, plugin store, and we will search for Power Automate. And we can see there that we have got that available to us. We're just going to install that. So we'll click the install button, and then that will allow us to add our plugin. Now we can see there that it's already been selected. I have already authenticated uh, and added this. Uh, so you will, if you haven't already authenticated, it will pop up and it will ask you to authenticate. So that is now enabled. Now, the first thing we're going to do is how about we just list our flows and we'll see if I have any um, flows that are enabled and that will be visible via chat GPT. Now there is a nuance here and only the Power Automate flows that have been enabled with the new Copilot trigger will be visible through here. So not all of your flows. So let's go um, list my flows and I'll hit enter. And that's going to use that plugin. It's going to connect to Power Automate here and it's going to list out any flow that is available to me inside of ChatGPT. So it's using the Power Automate plugin there and here are the flows that are available to me that I can run. All right, so I've got one called run a flow from Copilot. I've got start and approval, and then uh, they're the only two that I have um, available to me inside of Power Automate. What about if I want to create a flow? All right, so let's use a command and we're going to create a flow. So what about we start an approval process when an item is added to a uh, Microsoft list? Um, create a flow, uh, uh, create an approval process um, when a new item is added to a list and we'll hit enter. So let's have a look and see what happens here. So again, we're connecting using the Power Automate plugin and let's see what we come back with. So you can see here, I've got a response, generated a preview for the flow, create an approval process when a new item is added. And now we can verify that it meets our needs. We can click our link here and I'm gonna be taken into Power Automate and it is using, you may be familiar with this, this describe it to design it functionality that is there inside of Power Automate. So we can see here the trigger when an item is created, the action create an approval process. So that's good. It's, it's, it's understood what I've wanted and it's created and it's started that process for me. And then I can now go and finish off and create and publish our flow. All right, so there we go. Now, what about if we want to actually execute our flow? So you can see here, I've got two flows that are available and visible to me that I can run from ChatGPT. So I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna start a new conversation and I'm going to say, start and approval. I'll hit enter and then let's have a look and see what happens. Again, we're connecting through the Power Automate plugin and then we can see there that it is now all ready, it's executed and it's ready to run. Now, one thing here is that you might expect that it's going to just automatically run this inside of the UI, but you can see here, I need to click this button here and then I need to, I'm taken to Power Automate in the browser tab where I can then trigger the actual flow. Now I've got two inputs. 
Um, and then I, let me just pop in uh, this email address here. Um, dot com. And then I'll just flick it, trick this over and we'll run the flow. So the flow has now successfully started. So what we're going to see here in my flow section, you can see that I've got, uh, there's the flow that I have just run. I've got a couple of other uh, flows here as well. Now, the trick here to make these available inside of ChatGPT is that we need to use the new uh, Copilot trigger. Okay, so there is a, a new trigger that when we create our custom flows. So let's go and create a flow and I'll choose, um, I'll choose a, an instant cloud flow. All right, so what we're going to do here is we'll skip this and you can see that I've got this new trigger called skills. All right, so we can run a flow from Copilot and I'm going to then add some inputs. So maybe let's just uh, pop this on and let's just call this title. Uh, and we'll do another one for description and we'll just leave it at that for now, okay? So you can see there we can do our, um, uh, our different options there as well. Then what we might do is let's just send an email. All right, so we'll send an email using this action here uh, and then I'll send it to admin. Subject can be the title, the description, the body can be the description and let's give this flow a title so that we can use that in our the chat GPT. All right, so let's go for uh, send an email and we'll make, name it send an email, we'll hit save. And now after a little bit of time, that is going to be available to us inside when I go to back to chat GPT, list my flows, and that will then appear once it gets picked up and identified as a flow that's uh, able to be surfaced inside of here. That will be available to me to run directly from uh, ChatGPT as well. So again here, it's just listing out the flows that are going to be available to me. And at the moment, I've only got the two, okay? So, but in time, once that gets picked up, we'll have another one there that we can run. So there we have it, the new uh, plugin for ChatGPT with Power Automate and also a new Copilot trigger inside uh, of Power Automate as well. Hope that brings you some value today. It'd be interesting to see where this goes. It is fairly basic at the moment, as you can see, but I have no doubt that we will continue to see improvements here uh, to, uh, and enhance what we can do.